on everybody we got the uh, motor coming along pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and uh put on some long tubes today uh i actually had these in the car before but uh the entire exhaust was welded solid and uh when i wanted to drop my k-member i couldn't have had to cut the exhaust so i wanted to add some flanges on here i put a uh, little three bolt flange on on the collector there so i can unhook the exhaust if i want to and then the other problem that i had you'll be able to see here is i had a leak these are kind of dirty but uh if you can see this black here this is all black around here and up here that's where the exhaust was leaking past the flange i had a uh i had a pretty nice just a multi-layer steel exhaust gasket and uh i think it's supposed to be a pretty nice gasket but it was leaking the other thing i had is i had uh i didn't put this on like this but there was a broken exhaust bolt in the head so one of the bolts wasn't even in there so to fix all those problems i'm trying out these percy's aluminum seal for good reusable flange gaskets these are uh like a soft aluminum but they're real thick and they compress easily so any kind of variation you might have in the surfaces it can kind of make up for and then because pulling broken bolts out of your head sucks i got some of these arp bolts these are made out of the same thing as a uh, captain american shield i think what's it made of vibranium it's stronger than steel and a third the weight so uh, they don't really break so i'm gonna be using these and they're not even like, i think it was like 25 bucks or something they're not crazy expensive so now you see all the parts that we're using i'm gonna go ahead and uh start putting these in i'm gonna start with the uh driver side here i'm gonna be uh sliding it in from the bottom then i'll try to you know grab it once i come back up top I'm just gonna go ahead and try to start a bolt here so I can kind of start getting things lined up. I guess I gotta start with this gasket in there. Yeah. Okay, so I started my uh, first and last bolt. I ran it in a little bit. It's not all the way tight, but it's uh, tighter than just like a thread. So those two bolts should hold my gasket. My head are kind of in the right place, and I can get some of these harder to reach bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, toss the rest of the bolts in here. So I ran into my first problem, which is this bolt right here. As you can tell, there's not a whole lot of room to get in there. Uh, you obviously can't get a socket in there, you gotta use a wrench. So what I did is I went into my little tool collection, I found me a nice uh, china wrench I had laying in there, and I ground down the sides of it to make it thin. And now I should be able to get that in there. It looks like I did the trick I'm in, so I can go ahead and tighten this one down. Hopefully I can get it back off. We'll see, come on baby. Yep, it's a little snug, but it fits now. So these are uh, full stainless steels. Uh, these are actually eBay specials. Um, I put eBay headers on a few cars, and uh, they're actually pretty good headers. You can see how look how thick that flange is. That thing is super thick. I think there's a user on eBay named Speed Daddy. I think he usually has some pretty quality ones. I will usually look for. For that him or somebody's got one just like them and uh you can buy you know twelve hundred dollar set of cooks or whatever but uh these usually run about like 150 or something and i don't think they're any worse so uh that's what i run because i'm on a budget so i'm pretty happy with them though 
All right, got this side, this side all tightened up, looking good. Try to slide in this next side. All right, same thing with this one, I'm gonna pull it up and get me a couple bolts in and go from there. Okay, for this one I grabbed a longer bolt just because it's a lot easier to start. I just grabbed whatever bolt hole I could get to because it was wanting to flip around and lean all kinds of weird angles. So I'll put that in first and then I got another one in here and it should be pretty easy to get the rest of them now. All right guys, we got all the bolts in and tight. The headers are fully installed. We got the nice knee gaskets. Uh, something else I want to mention about these ARP bolts. Like I said, number one, they're really strong and they will not break off in your cylinder head. Uh, the number two thing that's super nice is, you know, a lot of times if you don't use ARPs, I find myself, I'll end up rounding the head of a bolt. Then it won't be tight all the way or something and then it'll be hard to get back off. These are so strong, you're not going to round the head of these bolts. So now we come down here, now we got our, uh, our three bolt flanges on here. So I welded this flange on here. I just gotta clear this one on here. And then uh, this gasket here goes in between them. These I just picked off, off of Summit Racing. They're just a three inch pipe gasket. And I can tighten, put that on there and I'll get some bolts in there and tighten that together. So it's all in the right spot. And I'll go ahead and weld those up. So that's going to be it for the uh, long tube header installation. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.